Day and Easy have a history of innovation in the motorcycle world. They created the very first back protectors, initially worn by Barry Sheen in 1979, although they didn't really start gaining traction until about 1984, when the rear wheel of Freddie Spencer's Honda GP bike exploded, shooting him skyward and smashing back down onto the curb of the racetrack. Now, Freddie actually walked away from the incident at a time when many riders with the same situation would have had to be carried off on a stretcher. It's thanks to that day and easy back protector that allowed him to get up off his own two feet and walk away. After this, the paddock saw a massive increase in back protector usage. But old Lino Dainese didn't stop there. In his continual pursuit of protective excellence, the next step was needed. And in 1995, he launched research into a new kind of inflatable protection, the airbag. Now that wasn't the only thing in development in 1995. I was. Me, I'm as young as motorcycle airbag technology. We've seen many iterations over the years. That's uh, airbags, not me's. And they've always been aimed at sort of racing and track riding, and that's just due to the nature of Day and Easy's development. It's on track. But now we have the Smart Jacket, a road bias system, which is also not integrated into a jacket or suit like we've seen before. What's what on the Smart Jacket then? Well, the tech inside the actual bag itself is unique to Day and Easy. But a bag of air is a bag of air, I hear you cry. Not quite as simple as that. Day and Easy employs something called microfilaments. There's thousands of these little hairs, if you like, which hold the bag together, meaning it can't compress or overinflate in one area. Other bags are a hollow void, which does allow the air inside the system some freedom of movement. Now take this balloon for example. I can inflate it and as I apply pressure to one side, the air moves over to fill the other areas. And actually, if I'm brave enough, I can touch the table below. The microfilaments don't allow this to happen and it can do some really impressive stuff like this. Wow. So once inflated, what sort of protection does it provide? Well, as of the making of this video, it's the only airbag to go through a CE certification. It also has the equivalent of seven chest protectors and nine back protectors. However, this isn't like a direct correlation. It's just like a good visual aid to, to help you understand the performance that an airbag can offer. To control when to inflate is a brain box that can run its algorithm a thousand times a second, taking in data from a gyroscope, accelerometer, GPS, and more sensors to build a picture of exactly what is happening around you. But it's also clever enough to know when you're stationary and taking an impact from a distracted driver. The brain box is waterproof, so you can actually ride around in all weathers and not have to worry about it. However, the stretch fabric construction will absorb water and need to dry off if you get caught in a shower, the electronics and the actual airbag will be fine though. The battery life is quoted at 26 hours from roughly four hours worth of charging. So plenty there to get in a long day's ride or even a couple of days worth of commuting. Now, if you can somehow cram 26 hours of riding into a day, please let me know. I want to know your secrets. <sighs> Charging is completed by a USB-C cable and there is one included with the smart jacket. To charge, there is a small zip at the base on the rear, unzip that, and then there is a Velcro flap followed by a rubberized waterproof plug. The LED on the front will flash red whilst it's charging and then will slowly flash green once it's fully charged. When you first get the smart jacket, you need to connect it to a computer using the cable supplied, navigate to a website, which I will leave a link in the description for, and then that will walk you through how to unlock and activate your day and easy smart jacket. Once that's all done, you can just leave it on charge. Although I personally would take it out of the computer and plug it into a wall socket because computers will just take forever to charge the thing, plug it into the wall and you'll have it much quicker. Interestingly, you can wear the smart jacket under or over your normal riding gear. Over a simple, just suit up and pop the vest on. Now it's a good idea to just measure up your chest with your jacket on and compare with the size guide to make sure it's going to fit together. If you're wearing the smart jacket underneath your normal riding clothing, you will need about five centimeters of room around the jacket for inflation. So for sizing up, size the smart jacket up to your normal chest size. And then obviously you might have to size up on the jacket that you're gonna put on over the top, depending on what sort of fit you have and how much adjustment it has available to it. 
Once you've got your jacket activated, charged and ready to go, you can now go riding with it. Pop it on either under or over your jacket and you also have these waist tapers to allow you to get a snug fit and then you can begin to zipping up. However, before you get to the top, you want to connect the arming magnets. When this is done, the LED lights cycle through all the different colours, but there's also a nice positive vibration from the box too. That way, you know it's armed without having to look down at the LEDs, something that's really helpful if you've got a jacket on over the top of it. Once it's all done though, it will settle on a nice blue colour. Now we've got the jacket on and it's sort of ready to go, but it isn't fully armed for inflation. It's going to be looking for one of two things, either vibration from an engine that's on and idling, most bikes do, or for you to move over six miles per hour. Now, the reason there are two different criteria here that it's looking for is because if you have an electric bike, it's not gonna idle, it's not gonna vibrate, therefore it uses the speed parameter to see when you're on a motorcycle. The jacket is available for men in two different colorways, a black and a high vis. You can also get it in a long sleeve jacket version, which features level two armor in the elbows and shoulders, and again, has long sleeves. However, it's called the long sleeve jacket, but that's called the jacket and surely that should be called the best and the other one called the jacket. Either way, it doesn't make sense. For ladies, however, you don't get any long sleeves. You just get the smart jacket as you see here behind me and it only comes in the black colorway. You get a couple of pockets, one on each side of the waist, as well as a high one located on the right of the chest. It's a reasonably light bit of equipment too, meaning it folds neatly away into a backpack, top box, or if your bike is blessed with it, under seat storage. Once you purchase your smart jacket, you're good to go. There's no subscriptions and you get free servicing, which is recommended every three years. And it doesn't have to go back to Italy either. All the servicing and repairs are done in the UK, so no lengthy wait times either. If you do have an unfortunate off wearing the garment, it will need to be inspected, serviced, and regassed. And also it'll be checked over to make sure there isn't any damage to any of the parts. And if there is, they can be replaced, but there will be a cost attached to that. Obviously they'll let you know before they just do it, but it's nice to know that it could be taken care of. The day and easy smart jacket, because you wouldn't want a dumb jacket now, would you?